Okay, welcome guys. My name is Touch Ninja, and this is another new show that I am going to be doing on a weekly basis. I already have a bunch of ninja shows. I have like a ninja unboxing for all my unboxing videos, and I have like a vlog video for random videos in my life. But this is going to be called, uh, I don't even know what it's going to be called. I think it's going to be like Ninja Gaming Weekly or something along those lines. And what this show is going to be is it's going to come out every Sunday. Uh, DSP kind of does this thing, uh, Dark Side Phil, where he goes, uh, does a video on all the games that he plans to do during the week. And I think that, that really helps you guys keep updated with what's going on in terms of the channel, series updates, and all that kind of stuff. So I think I'll try it out myself, and it'll be like a weekly thing that I do. But, uh, anyways, so first things off, we'll do with, uh, we'll deal with series that are ongoing right now. Uh, Skyrim, uh, ongoing. Uh, I started, I started again playing some Skyrim and doing videos for you guys with, on a PC with some Zelda mods to make the world kind of merciful and like the Legend of Zelda. That's why the thumbnails have the Legend of Zelda logo on it. And uh, so yeah, that's ongoing. Uh, slide 2 should be wrapped up tomorrow on Monday. The last video will go up on Monday. And just as a quick note, I will not be doing slide 3 right after slide 2. Um, I plan to do slide 3 one month before the official release date of Sly 4, just so we can build up some anticipation for it. So once again, Sly 3 will not happen right away, it will happen one month before the release of Sly 4. Uh, it just gives me a little bit of a break from the series, and like I said, helps us bring uh, build some anticipation for Sly 4, which I will be doing in 2012. And Amy, uh, Amy should be wrapped up either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, I'm actually playing it right now. I don't, I don't know if you can tell by the screen. That is Amy in the background going on right now. So that should be wrapped up either Monday or Tuesday. And yeah, that's pretty much all the series I'm doing right now. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker will probably start up this week. Uh, I took a little bit of break from the Metal Gear HD collection and just to stretch my legs, I guess. Uh, stretch my legs, I guess. But Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker will be starting this week. And that's pretty much it in terms of series updates uh, as of right now. And let's get into the meat and potatoes of the video. What's going to be going on this week in terms of new content. Um, this week is mainly just DLC as well as some betas. Uh, we'll start off with the betas. I don't, I don't even know why I have this piece of paper right here. Because I just like, like holding it in my hand. But as you can see there's actually nothing on it. I don't know, put it down. Just keep my hands busy. And uh, got some serious bedhead going on right now too. I just woke up and decided to record this video, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, no, I don't do the douchey thing where I try to make my hair look like I don't do my hair. You know what I'm talking about. You guys you guys know. But uh, anyways, uh, in terms of betas this week, um, or not betas, demos, uh, two demos that uh, are coming up this week that I will be doing. And yes, my room is very, very messy and just seeing it in the background. Um, the Darkness 2 demo I will be uh, testing out. And as well as the Kings of Amalur uh, demo that's coming out on January 17th as well. Uh, both coming for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Uh, most likely I will be playing them both on Xbox 360 just because the Xbox, uh, Xbox 360 Live uh, updates before um, PSN does. Uh, Xbox 360 usually ups, uh, updates their games around 6 a.m. Uh, whereas PlayStation Network only updates around 5 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But they do come out the same day. There's just usually about a 12-hour discrepancy. And the way my schedule works out for school, I can't uh, I can't play in the afternoon uh, just because I have night class. So all my demos are being played on Xbox 360 in the morning. Um, that does not necessarily reflect what platform I'm going to be finally playing the game on. When it officially comes out, I'm just saying that uh, I will be playing them on Xbox 360 just because it comes out first. And uh, yeah, and just as a quick note on the Kings of Amalur Reckoning demo, uh, there's actually some special information on that. So how the demo works is once you get past the tutorial stage, you have two main branching paths that you can take. So you take either one, and once the tutorial ends and you take that path, you have 45 minutes to complete as much as you can. So it's not like your traditional demo where you reach a certain point and the demo ends. It's just 45 minutes. You get as much done as you can possibly can. So I'm just going to be trying to blast through as much as I possibly can to show you guys as much content. And there's actually some special bonuses 
for that demo if you guys are playing it. Um, so uh, it actually incorporates Mass Effect 3, which is one of the bigger games that are coming out uh, this year, especially in the first quarter, which I will be doing a walkthrough as well on. So if you play the demo on Kings of Amalur, you'll actually unlock some Kings of Amalur uh, armor for Mass Effect 3. And conversely, it's the exact same thing. If you play Mass Effect 3, uh, whenever that game came, comes out, or whenever the demo for that game comes out, you'll unlock some armor, uh, Mass Effect 3 armor for Kings of Amalur. So it's, uh, it's, it's really uh, some really unique DLC that they've come out with. And I can't wait to play it. Like I said, I will be doing the demos of uh, Kings of Amalur and The Darkness. Uh, so you guys can look forward to that early morning on Tuesday. And as well for DLC, uh, some new Saints Row, the third DLC is coming out. Uh, it's called Genki Bowl 7, I think. And Saints Row 3 is one of the most successful series that I've ever had on my channel. So you guys seem to enjoy the content that comes out of it. And this DLC will be the very first DLC for the game where there are actually some new missions. Uh, all the DLC up until this point has just been mainly, um, has just been mainly um, uh, weapons and vehicles. But this one will actually incorporate some weapons. Once again, I can only, uh, once again, the DLC will be released for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, uh, but I played the original Saints uh, Row 3 on Xbox 360, and that is the only version that I own. So yeah, that's pretty much for this week uh, in terms of games from me. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a weekly series that I will be doing uh, to keep you guys updated on series and what are planned for next week, uh, or the, the, the upcoming week. And for next week, there are actually a bunch of new games uh, that will be coming up and doing walkthroughs for. But I guess you'll just have to tune in next time for the next uh, the next weekly show. But anyways, uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys are still enjoying the content of the series, uh, of the channel, sorry. And we're closing in on 50, 50k really, really quickly. And something special in it for you guys when we finally do hit 50k. But anyways, as always guys, uh, thank you for the support of the channel. And I'll see you guys next time uh, for some more content, I guess. Alright, have a fantastic day.